During the war era from 1941 to 45, Florida was a hub for military pilot training, specifically combat pilots. And located inside Bartow's airport terminal building is a room filled with memorabilia from that historical period. Among the rich history at the Polk County facility, you'll find information about three well-known astronauts who learned to fly there. News 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona tells us more. Buzz Aldrin, Carol Bobko, and Ed White, former astronauts, were among thousands of pilots trained at the Bartow Flight Training Base from 1951 to 1961. This is what the chapel looked like when Buzz Aldrin was married here on this base in 1951. We had U.S. Air Force pilots and all the NATO pilots were able to train here. In those 10 years, uh, approximately 8,000 people learned to fly here in Bartow. But before training pilots for the U.S. Air Force and NATO, Bartow contributed to the war effort in a major way and even after the war uh, doing primary flight training. Patrick uh, Huff, uh, chairman of the Bartow Airport Museum people. Committee, tells us the historical role this facility had during World War II. It was originally built to be a bomber uh, training base, but uh, the change in the war strategy uh, made it imperative that they train more fighter pilots. So uh, it wasn't until 43 that they brought in the first P-51s and the instructors. Pictures of those brave men and women are located in the airport's museum and terminal building, archives and reminders of the war. We've got some uniforms. This gentleman, Jesse Broyles, was uh, sent here by the Corps of Engineers to build this place. It was the type of bomb that they dropped from the P-51. During World War II, Florida practically became a hub to train combat pilots. The government uh, particularly chose Florida for air bases because there were more flyable days in the year. Instructors from all over the country came to train pilots. One of the things that was interesting, uh, they had a German uh, prisoner war camp in Winter Haven. And so the prisoners of war came and worked here at the air base during the day. Today, several original buildings still stand. The most notable one is the airport's control tower. That's probably built in 1942. Uh, that's the original tower built for the airport when it was first developed as a World War II training base. It wasn't until 2016 when Hurricane Irma ripped through the tower, destroying a lot of its interior structure. Since then, it's been refurbished and it continues to operate daily. Another interesting detail, Huff says, is about a popular phrase that originated from the war days. This was nine yards long, and once you shot all those bullets, that was it. You might as well turn around and go home. The chain of bullets from the machine guns used in combat. And you ever heard the, the saying, the whole nine yards? Yes. That's it. The whole nine yards. That's where the saying comes from. That's where the saying comes from. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Wow. Mm -hmm. I did not know that, the whole nine yards. You hear that all the time. Now yes, it makes so do. much more sense. Lots of history. Yeah.